GM Farcaster. It is Wednesday, February 21st, and you are here with Nounish Prof and not Adrian again. <laughs> Today we have the amazing Tony Hawk, my friend from the Noun Square and Nouns and Yellow Collective here with us today. Good morning, Tony. How are you doing this early? It's a little early for you. So I'm GM, glad, you're, GM. glad you're here. Glad you got I'm up. Gonna, I'm <laughs> actually going to change uh, my Farcaster username to not Adrian. After not this. Adrian. Yes, this is now not <laughs> everyone. Everyone who's co-hosting this week should be a little not Adrian next to Not Adrian. <laughs> Not Adrian. Just in case no, you're I'm, wondering, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm I'm repping. I got the swag. I got some uh, yellow collector. You got the yellow noggles. You got the I toad got, pin. Oh, I got my. I got the only purple in my wardrobe. Nice, okay. nice. I love it. I got I got little toady here. Little toady. I love that and pin. I, I so even good. Have some some nouns coffee. You've got nouns coffee. Well, I have my uh, GM my GM coffee mug, which uh, is not showing, but. I was yeah, gonna say it looks like cute. it looks like here we go. Uh, like, there we go. There we go. It's so cute. Uh, if you one hold of these it over here, it looks like it's uh, like I don't know it, some kind of movie effect or something. I know it's something weird, but over here you see it's my little GM coffee coffee mug. Nice. Which eventually we will um, get those in a shop in a frame at some point soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, welcome. And we're going to dive right in. We've got a few uh, things happening. We got a lot of stuff happening as usual. But yesterday, if you were trying to cast, you might have had a problem <laughs> like everybody else. And you might have had people in your DMs going, hey, can you cast? No, I cannot. Uh, so this is from Varun at V. Uh, WC status, both our hubs went down for unrelated reasons at the same time. For the 40 minutes that it took to recover, Warpcast suffered stability issues. Messages from Warpcast were not sent to other clients. Messages from other clients didn't make it to Warpcast. Everything should be back to normal now. And it was, except we had duplicate casts go out for many users during the degraded performance and downtime earlier. So check your profile and delete <laughs> any duplicates. So uh, I had that to go back. Funny. <laughs> I saw some people funny. with like nine in a row. Like someone, like the, the the marketing, the marketing lead for base responded like base is so in like seventeen times on something. Crazy. Okay, we get it. <laughs> we base get it. We get it. I kept trying to uh, cast about the op, which we'll talk about in a minute, and yeah. uh, it was it was hilarious. I went back and I'm like, okay, I need to delete, delete, delete. So go check your profile if you have multiples of the same cast. Delete them, please. So Symbiotech had a funny quip yesterday on 9 o'clock live show. He said, the only time I check Twitter now is to check DWR's Twitter to see if War see Warpcast, Warpcast is, is down. down. <laughs> see if Warpcast is down by checking Twitter. There you go. This is a new, new use utility. for New utility for Twitter. There you go. Um, or I was just checking in my DMs all over the place. People are like, "Are you? can you get on? Are you?" And I'm like, no, I cannot get on right now. It's not just you. Um, also from Varun, um, popular channels get a lot of spam and manual moderation is hard to scale and decentralize. So proposal, hosts can turn on a fee in settings. Users must pay 100 warps before they can post. If banned, user must pay the fee again before posting, which is interesting. Fees go to host. If you were a channel lead, would you use this? So there's been a lot of discussion in, we have a little host um, chat and there's been a lot of discussion about different ways to sort of token gate or or figure out a way to sort of manage some of these channels, especially the larger ones. I personally want some token gating for some of the DAO channels, at least. I think that could be really helpful. Um, but I also want a way to manually override that as well. Um, this was a different approach I hadn't thought about. So what do you think about a pay for play channel? And would that be something you would use? And I'm really curious because you host a couple of channels right now. So, well, I'm thinking of of nouns where I'm one of many co-hosts in the channel, and we do have issues from time to time with spam. In fact, it was so bad a few weeks ago that yeah, that's um, why we ended up with with yeah, lots. My, mea culpa. I, <laughs> I had small. a frame. I had a frame for Yellow Collective that got a little too successful, and people were scrambling trying to figure out how to get the get the NFT like, after it sold out and, and they just started like swarming into, into nouns for some reason. Anyway, DWR at that point turned it on so that you had to be an active badge holder to post, which I think swung the pendulum too far in the other direction. Now there's some really great community members who maybe don't have 400 followers yet and they're getting there, but right now their you know, posts are being hidden about nouns esports and stuff. So that's not ideal. Um, I think the best the best solution I had heard, honestly, was from Chris Carella, who said maybe we could figure it out where there's like 
a friends of friends where like if you if, if five active badge holders follow you you're probably not a bot or something like that <laughs> I, I think that's probably better but having said that like yeah if, if it's, it's easier if yeah. it's easier across the platform to implement something like the 100 warps pay for play it's not ideal because it, i i really like it to be like a, a safe place where anyone can come and post but it, if that sort of gets everybody who wants to be there to be able to be there and post it maybe it's worth it I think it's good for certain channels. I think, you know, nouns would not be one that I would put a pay for play on nor builder um, or any of the ones that I currently host, but I can see that use case for, especially for subscription based channels that connect with some kind of pay anyway. But again, I think the NFT way is probably easier because even with nouns what you could do is have multiple nfts it could be anyone from yeah. you know nouns little nouns nars and you'd cover a huge amount of people that even if they didn't have an active badge would be covered to post that we yeah. know are trusted folks and that we'd want to be able to have that access so i think there's different ways or, to approach it but i think it really depends on the channel so I'm, I'm or, or you could just do like a true nouns fan open edition yeah you know there you go and, and open it for a week and if you have the edition you can post otherwise you got to pay 100 or something. I don't, I don't know i don't know there's different just ways to something a little bit of friction that a bot's gonna slow down and yeah <laughs> we're just trying yeah. to slow down bots right that's it or people acting like bots either way uh, that's right <laughs> either either one uh moving on couple more uh fun things going on um purple's prop house is coming to an end their retro round five is ending today at 1 p.m so if you hold a purple token go vote and while you're there gm Tarcaster has a prop house submission in this latest round we'd love your consideration but also there's a ton of great people in this round so make sure you go check them out uh you have until 1 p.m eastern so get moving. Um, and it's, do you hold a purple token yet? I don't think you do, do you? Uh, no, I don't have a purple token, mm, but well, gonna, I do have, I that. do have an, I do have an idea though. I'm going, I'm going to propose soon that we do some kind of a swap for Ooh. a yellow token and a purple token. So that's that a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. I would wait until they move to base. It'll be easier. Yes. <laughs> It'll make more sense, uh, exactly. but that's a great idea. I love that idea. Um, you should put that in the upcoming uh, nouns builder round for prop house round because that could be an interesting thing that we could do during that week. Um, so that just an idea for you. You could get a little little ETH on top of it. Uh, Yesik from DGen. This is big news. DGen update. Happy to announce that DGen angel investing round is now done. Had no idea this was happening. Um, one confirmation is our lead investor with amazing Farcaster OGs and friends backing us as well. The funding will help us grow the DGen ecosystem and community to be even more badass. Big shout out to everyone riding this wave with us. 490.5 ETH raised in this round. That was pretty amazing to see yesterday. Um, what do you think about this? This is like, this is a little different. This is not something we normally see from a meme coin. <laughs> So, for me, for me, I was just disappointed that they that they raised you know probably twenty one more than I needed yeah. to you know like it yeah. should have been like it should have been for the culture nine and I'm a little <laughs> you know I'm a little disappointed by that no I, I mean all honestly it's, it's pretty cool to see it kind of goes to show you how D Gen as a a coin is more of a community coin project than it is like a shit coin or a meme coin uh, Yasek and the others are really trying to do something interesting for the ecosystem. It's pretty cool. I don't know if we've seen many rounds raised no. for meme coins. You I don't probably know. I'm count sure them on there one are. Hand. Yeah, but they're probably, we probably don't consider the meme coins anymore. You know what well, I mean? If you think like, about it, you know, they're probably actual utility tokens that have had things like that. If you think about like Ethereum itself and, and other coins like that. But yeah, this is, sorry, this is did, really interesting. Did you just compare DGen to, to Ethereum? No. You heard I'm just... it here first. Prop order says DGen reminds her of an early Ethereum, I think is what I heard. <laughs> Not say that. <laughs> I'm just saying that usually we don't see that kind of thing from meme coins, but it is kind of fun. It's very exciting to see. And Yasik, uh, we did have Yasik on GM Farcaster uh, back in, uh, I don't know, 500 years ago. I think it was January. Uh, Before he was famous? Like 
You before had him on he was, before he was famous. We had, a, we had him early. We were earlier. Um, so <laughs> that's our new that's our new saying here. Every time Bankless says they're calling it early, we say we called it earlier. Um, so, uh, but we're, we were excited to get him back on sometime to to give us an update after this because this is really interesting. There's also a bounty out right now for DGen frames, and that's about to be judged and announced. I'm one of the judges for that. So I went through all the frames yesterday that were submitted, and there's some really interesting ones in there. Some of them are games. Some of them are utility of, like, how do you check to see, you know, how much you have left and things like that for tipping. Do, do, any, so of them cool. attempt, do any of them attempt to transact with non-airdropped tokens? If that makes sense, yeah. That, that, that's something I was sort of thinking about in my head. Like, is there they a way do, to... but they're they're not quite functional yet. So that was one of the right. things I noticed on some of these frames. They were great experiments, but they weren't quite working. Um, but there yeah. were some great ideas around paying. There was one that where you could pay for the NFT with DGen, and it would drop into your wallet. But it was wasn't that Winters? quite working. Uh, no, winter? it wasn't Winters. It was somebody else. But I was yeah. talking to Winter about one that mm. he had like that. And the base piece. And I was, yeah. I was excited. And I was, no, this was before. Oh, base, different one. Before okay. You could pay with DGen. And oh. I said, how did you How did you do that? Did you get an Oracle or something? He's like, nah, I'm just like hoping that the DGen actually comes to me. So like you're buying with a future airdrop. And I was like, okay, that's probably not going to work for like the yellow it's auction. No, it's not going to work for the yellow. But I think you're yeah. probably like a couple weeks away from that. And I think if you put that out in the in the ether, uh, oh, someone will probably been, build it. Oh, it's been put out. It's been oh, put okay. Out. Yellow is going to be the first DAO like organization to have an auction run in a frame. That would be amazing. I would love now. that. Can't wait. Can't wait to see it. And I'm currently bidding on the current yellow collective uh, noun. Please stay away. Um, let's go. Is that why you have good. the pudgy behind you? The yellow pudgy behind you? Maybe. Uh, that's work that's coming up. It's about our, it's about our, uh, our meetup, but also another reason I'm bidding. Um, bigger news, biggest news of yesterday that I want to share, and this is for the whole ecosystem, not just Farcaster, was this Optimism Airdrop 4. So from Optimism, um, on Warpcast, Create Together and Benefit Together, that's the super chain. Today, Optimism unveils Airdrop 4 allocating 10 million OP to over 22K unique addresses. Read more to claim here. Make sure you are only clicking on links from the official accounts. And then from Jesse Pollock of Base, we have, if you created a base on Base and got this airdrop, share what you created and how much you received in the thread. We lo would love to recast, show people the power of creating on chain and get your work in front of more people. Thank you, Optimism, for rewarding super chain creators. And I did drop ours in that thread because GM Farcaster is deployed on base via Zora, as you know. And I think that's the bulk of this amazing Optimism airdrop for me. Um, I do have a few other things that I've created, but I think the bulk of this is probably from GM Farcaster. So thanks, super chain, for supporting creators. I know GM that super you, chain, G, GM super chain. Like, thank you because this was amazing to see. I was so excited to see some of the artists we know really well do yeah. like thousands in the OP. Like I know a couple yeah. who some maxed, of them maxed out, it out, maxed yeah. out. And I was so happy to hear that because they're incredible creators and artists. And most of the time they're dropping these things for free and, you know, they're getting some creator rewards again. Thank you, Zora. Also, um, but it's amazing to see this additional out of the blue, like wasn't planning on it. Here you go. You know, that's incredible. So when I when I first saw the airdrop, actually, Carlos uh, Melgar came on. The yeah, Square I heard that. Yeah. And he dropped that and we we're like, oh, my God, I hadn't even heard about the airdrop was was coming. Um, I casted about this yesterday, too, about how like this is exactly how airdrops should happen, in my opinion. They shouldn't yep. be expected. I mean, they're kind of expected. Everyone knows that there's a certain number of airdrops that are coming from OP, and if you're in their governance, you'll right. know when they're coming. But if you're not, then it's going to come as a full surprise, and it should be like this, where people are like, "Wow, this is like money from the sky for using something earnestly." You know, right. not not just for like questing or not just for you know dicking around and doing things on a, on a chain, but actually using it the way they're intended to be used. And yeah, that was really really great to see. Incredible. And when I first when I first saw the airdrop, I read through quickly, and I was like, "Okay, this is mostly for people who've created NFTs on L2s." But as I came to find out talking to people later in the day, it wasn't just people who created NFTs on the L2s. It was also people 
who had done a lot of creation in like early NFTs, like in 2021, yeah. 2022. So like the, the, I'll give Boney as an example. I was talking to him. He's like, dude, I like, I almost maxed out this airdrop. This is crazy. And I was like, Oh, what have you minted on L2? Like, did I miss based bonies? Like what's going on here? <laughs> and he was like, no, he's like, this is just from bonies. Yeah. And so it's cool to see someone who created something amazing. You know, it obviously had like a flurry of activity during the, the froth of 2021. And it's just been solid state since then. Uh, and like, this is like, he just told me like, I, my car just broke down. Sorry to put you on blast there, buddy. But he's like, my car just broke down. This is like a car drop. You know what right. I mean? Like, it's nuts. Yeah. Crazy. It's, inc- it's incredible. Like, and it's, you know, we saw the same thing for Chris co-created, um, a lot of Farcaster artists, you know, the same because they've been creating, um, either, either on, you know, mainnet or L2s, but it's, uh, it's just going to encourage so many more people to make that move. And what I love to see is more on-chain media. And I know that you, yeah. you're you er, the earliest pioneer of this. I have to give you a shout out um, because Jacob literally changed the parameters so you could drop your, could drop the video. Shout out. Shout out yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Jacob, for that, because that then allowed us to do this as well. So it's, Yeah, he you know, came to us. He was like, how do we get these more on more. chain? Yeah. He's like, how do we get these on chain? I was like, well, to be honest, they're too, too big. They're like three gigs right. usually. Well, you're talking about our zero pod episodes, which come out. Because they're uh, usually about over an hour. Yeah. A little bit over an hour, around an hour. And he said, well, how, how big do they have to be? And I was like, three gigs usually. He's like, all right, hold my, hold my beer basically. And he came back two hours later. Hold my Zorb. Like, try, hold try my again. Hold my Zorb. Yeah. So. And cool. uh, yeah. So amazing to see, like, I, I love seeing some of that happening with uh, the podcast as well as animation, music, all of those creators, as well as the traditional artists are getting this airdrop and it's just for putting your stuff on chain. So if you needed another on incentive. On Put it on chain, do it. And on, on the on chain media piece too, I wanted to sort of comment on how uh, Farcaster is really helping be that last like link in the chain for, for on chain media yes. too. Because as as you mentioned, we've been minting zero pods for um, well basically since we started doing them last uh, August, I think. So for July. quite some time. Yes, that's right, July. So now now that we can do a pod or we can do another video like the one we did just did recently on Farcaster 101, we can mm-hmm. put it on Farc and it's great because you can actually put the video in line now because we have video and then you can put you can you can boost the the um the mint and have like your Zora boosted mint right underneath it. So it's kind of like getting close to the holy grail for uh for on-chain Incredible. creators where here's the content and if you liked it you can mint it and collect it. And here's the mint all in the same and then, cast. And then put it into a frame and it makes it even easier, right? It's just yeah. amazing. Like boom, boom, boom. And it's, uh, it's for us, this is, you know, it's our flow. Our flow is to be on chain, you know, first. And we do it first here. And if you're chatting in the chat right now, you're on base and then uh, drop it on base and then put it on the web twos. And I think that's, that's a you know great way for anyone who's creating a web three to kind of use that sort of path um, on chain first and then online on chain to online. Um, I did want to mention also, this was pretty funny. Speaking of uh, your, um, your, your bullying actually of uh, Jack Witcher. Uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> after seeing how much love Optimism gave, <laughs> gave today to prolific deserving mainnet NFT creators and artists. I am just waiting for Jack's announcements that from this day forward, it's OP Pepin. <laughs> oh, Pepin. And Jack responded with this beauty of an OP, O Pepin, and it is lovely. So yeah. way to go to convince that one uh, to, to go forward because that was pretty incredible. Um, I've already updated my LinkedIn. Inspired nice. Open inspired. Yeah. Oh, Pepin. <laughs> OP Pepin. OP um, that was That was really amazing. Uh, I also wanted to point out uh, a couple other things. Speaking of artists, Re- Renee Campbell, if you're not familiar with her, an artist out of uh, New Zealand, I think, um, just started, just jumped on uh, Warpcast recently and started a Flora channel, which is for floral, any kind of floral art. So I've created a channel for all floral art. Please join me and share all things botanical, all genres welcome. So that would include photography, etc. She does this macro photography. It's incredible. She also has some other art that she's done. I've collected her a lot on Tezos and I was so happy to see her on Warpcast and uh, it really brightened up your, your feed. So go follow her. 
Um, one other thing before we wrap for today, uh, I gotta I gotta point out the Farista cats because they're hilarious. Um, so the Farista cats have dropped, and they're um, the ones that have dropped so far are pretty funny, pretty interesting. I I didn't think I was gonna like them, and I kind of like them. So go check them out. Uh, they haven't dropped in a way that you can collect them right now. They're just honoraries, but they are pretty amusing. And then lastly, uh, behind me, you may notice this uh, fun little pengu, my little pudgy, and he is our mascot for ETH Denver for GM Farcaster with his little GM sign. So follow his GM sign to our ETH, Bar ETH Denver meetup. So GM Farcaster is planning some fun at ETH Denver. Yes, karaoke brunch by request from our regular chatters. I believe Lynx is to blame for this, I think. Uh, open first to GM Farcaster episode holders, and then we'll expand if there's space. There is not much room. So if you are interested, please RSVP ASAP. And thank you, Matthew and events.xyz for this amazing little frame and uh hope that uh you can join us toady because i know you'll be in eth Denver as well so what day is it that is My saturday is very... saturday morning yeah mine as well okay. um I'll we were having there. some fun chats yesterday about wait when is that no i can't do that <laughs> I think that's much. at the same time of six other things um so it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun uh so come join us our little eth Denver meetup uh it's gonna be fun we are out of time. However, we're going to stick around. I'm going to end our regular show. We're going to fade out and then fade back in and chat a little bit with Toadie about all things Yellow Collective, Noun Square, and Nouns. So if you're in our chat, hang out for a minute. We're going to continue the stream uh, and do a little more chatting. And thank you, Toadie Hawk, for filling in for Adrian today. It's been amazing to have you here. Um, Besides Adrian, and probably I think I have co-hosted more things with you than anybody in the world at this point. Um, Adrian, quickly, yeah, I'm a little, I'm quickly a little approaching. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> quickly I'm a little approaching. jealous. <laughs> she's and she is as well. Uh, she's like, I don't know about this Toady Hawk dude. I'm like, he's kind of he's gunning for my job. I'm like, maybe just a little. It's okay. Uh, he's got a I got, he's got a full time gig. It's all right. I have a few uh, things going on. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little busy. But thank you so much. And we're gonna stick around and chat in just a minute. But for those who need to uh, head out, um, we will see you Friday with Ted, Ted of Tedit and Farcon fame and all things uh, TikTok. I'm really excited to chat with her and we'll see you Friday. Not, not Ted Lasso. Ted, not just, Lasso is the one yeah, we're just talking like about. I, just like I'm Tony, not Adrian. Not Tony, not Adrian. <laughs> there we go. And everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.